this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario! Since last time, I made my way back to Koopa Village here. I want to see if Chuck Quizmo will spawn, which he did. Awesome. Kawiz! Sounds like a plan. Let's do it! If he didn't spawn, well, I have other business here, but I came here partially for that. Oh, <laughs> Cooper. Yeah, he really likes Cooper. He likes eating turtles. I see nothing wrong with that. Do they actually make turtle soup in real life? Like, I've heard the line, Tonight I dine on turtle soup more times than I can remember, but it's like, wait a minute, is that it? How would you make a soup out of a turtle? I don't even know how that would work. I I've never heard of, been to a restaurant where they have a menu and, and they got turtle soup on there, or... Su turtle soup in a can at the grocery store or something. It probably is real, but I I've never heard of or seen that personally. But anyway, the real reason why I came here was because we got some more favors we can do for Koopa Coot. Hopefully he'll give us more than one coin for it. So what's going on? Oh, yeah, I was, uh, I saw the, the house, or the roof kind of getting blown up there. What's going on? But you have a shell that you could just hide in there. Well, okay, I'll do the best I can. Well, it's Cooper's house. I think he should take care of that business. So let's head on over there. Huh, how's it going? What's the worst that could possibly happen? Cooper, tell them to move out. Whoa! Huh? Yeah, you're gonna kind of destroy the foundation and everything. What do you mean? Yeah, she's kind of with Mario. Um, Cooper? Oh. <laughs> okay. Whoa! Is he t Okay, I guess they just say the same thing, so... Whoop! Stop talking! Okay, I guess we need Bombette. I thought Cooper might be able to do the job, but no. We, we really do need Bombette for this. The whole town is complaining. Yeah, simmer down, buddy. These guys in the jail cell from earlier? Might be, I don't know. What do you mean? He's a bomb. What would be your... No, no, no I, I, I don't want to know what your type would be. Don't answer that. I, I don't want to know. <laughs> or you could just find another female bob -omb. Well, anyway. Okay, so we got them to calm down. Let's uh, head on back then. Hey, neighbors calming down. Just beat them over the head with my hammer. And that was it. Why are you uh, laughing like that? D don't answer that. But anyway, is it more than one coin? Ah, well thank you. It's nice to get a tip. Hey, hey all right. We actually got something remotely useful from him. So what do we got this time? Two more favors to go. Oh, well, yeah, you are. Uh, this is going automatically. Can I go back and see? Oh, I can go back and just read all this one by one. <laughs> uh, yeah, I went back to read all your dialogue that you went way too quickly through. Oh, kind of reminds me of Hex's Force. Uh, okay. Where is it? Well, anyway, I'll just tell you. We gotta go to Boo's Mansion. So, well, since, well, not since last time, but, well, recently, we unlocked the pipe there, so might as well put it to use. Geronimo! I don't know why we shot Geronimo when we jump off a cliff or an airplane or whatever. But anyway... 
Let's, uh, oh. I think the one we're looking for is right up front, I think. Maybe I should bring Boo, boo or Bo over here. The Boo Bo. I mean, you guys are as bad as the slimes from Dragon Quest. Yeah, pretty much. Well, your motto is, if it keeps moving, scare the hell out of it. Um. Well, wouldn't you be older than him since you're a ghost now? But anyway, all right. Got a picture back for Koopa Koop. So, yeah, I'll just uh, get back to Oscar now that I've shown how to get here. Okay, we're back at Koopa Village. No Quizmo spawning. Oh, well. But let's see what we got. You got any more star pieces for me? That would be nice. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. He's going through this automatically now. I don't want to hear about your uh, passionate nights when you were younger. But anyway. Well, okay, so far, 1.5 star pieces per favor. Uh, sure, why not? What do you want? Now I'm a completionist. I kind of have to do all this stuff. Satisfy my OCD. Oh, how do we cook that? But anyway, I'll just tell you. I've already cooked it in advance and got it in my inventory. Uh, the way you cook it is you get one of the Koopa leaves from behind the bushes around here. And then you got to get the dried pasta, which you can buy at the Dry Dry Outpost shop. And then mix them together once you've got the cookbook for uh, Tasty. And you can make the Koopasta. So, hooray! Okay, one star piece per favor. Okay, well that's everything we can do there, and now I just need to farm more, well, star pieces from Quizmo. So, hopefully he will spawn right away at Kumba Village. If not, well, I'll find him off screen then. Yep, not here. Oh, well. Alright, there he is. Only took me a couple tries to get him to show up here. So, yep, let's get it on! How hard could the question possibly be? Uh, let's see. Cooper! Oh, that was easy enough. I thought you were going to ask me, like, what was the color of uh, Goomba's pants or something ridiculous like that that no one would pay attention to the first time playing the game. But, alright, 39. So far, so good. Let's see, I think we can go up to 44 with him, if I recall correctly. So, alright, let's head on back to Koopa Village, then. Or I could get him to respawn right here. Why not? But easy enough. Good thing there's only one location in this town. I guess you could spawn on the other screen in Koopa Village, but that takes too long. Um, well, it's definitely not Pokey or Nomata Mouse, so the bandits. The Shy Guy bandits. And I was not so good at dodging their attacks on screen. But oh, well. Good deal. Four more to go. Alright, well, I'll either meet you back at Koopa Village or back here if I don't find him there. Okay, we're back here again. For some reason, he just, do he just doesn't like to spawn at Koopa Village. I don't know why. But, okay. Just go there and back and it's easy enough. Oh, how am I supposed to know? Uh... Scholar? Okay, good. The only reason I remember that was because someone chastised my pronunciation of his name. So, thanks, I guess. So, okay, well, there you go. See you out there in space. Now, we, this is not Mario Galaxy. I'll be honest, I have not really played Mario Galaxy. My brother has, but I kind of stopped the Mario series after 
Mario 64. Nothing wrong with that, just I was playing mostly Magic Gathering around the time. So, only have so much time for so many hobbies. Uh, I guess letters. They might have been bills or boxes. I don't know. But, yeah, it's letters. But, hey, hey, all right. Two more to go, I think. How am I doing on my uh, star piece collection anyway? Okay, okay, pretty good. Two more to go, then. All right, got him to spawn again. Not on the first try, though. Getting harder and harder to get this guy to spawn where I want him to. It's like an Eldric Abomination, or however you pronounce that thing. But anyway, uh, let's see. Well, I know they have a train station and some shops, so... Yeah, I guess you don't really need a mayor's house when you got a castle right there. Does Peach, like, run the village, too? Or is, like, her kingdom, like, separate from that? Maybe Toad Town's, like, a protectorate or something. I don't know. But, all right. Took care of all that. So, one more to go. Man, even Quizmo got tired of all the neighbors blowing up next door. I guess he just didn't like the noise for his shows and all that stuff. Can't have that much background noise. But anyway, I, well, we got a cooking book. What else would we want? An eating book? No, no but that one. Okay, well, that set of questions was reasonably easy enough. Well, now that we got all these star pieces, let's uh, put them to use. Also, I want to pick up the badge that I dropped off with Peach in the mystery chest, or whatever the... Uh, technical name is for whatever that thing is a warp chest or something i don't know and i also want to buy some new badges from uh, merlot when we get up there too how many do i got 21 okay good, good well i don't need all 21 but uh the big one that i want to get costs 15 so and that'll probably be the last of the badges that I'm actually going to use, I think. I keep on saying that, and then there's like a badge I forget about. <laughs> but, oh well. I'll do the best I can. Oh, and I've also changed my badge setup since last time because, uh, well, we're going to need it when we get starting on Chapter 5. Or getting pretty close to that, anyway. Hey, how's it going? I have... Nothing to... No business with you or anything, but... All right. Now, my understanding is that the way the badge works when he's in danger mode, which would be 5 HP or less, it rounds the damage down. So, like, I think if it's, like, 7 attack power and Mario's in danger mode, that would reduce it to 3. I'm not 100% sure on that. But uh, at least that's what I was reading up online. So... But anyway, we got some more badges I want. Uh, perhaps the most notably, HP Drain. That's useful in some very specific situations. Uh, the way it works is whenever Mario damages an enemy, you, I think you just drain one HP per uh, enemy you attack. But what it kind of doesn't say there is that if you hit multiple enemies, you can get more HP. So like if you're fighting large groups of enemies or something, you use, like, Quake Hammer or whatever hits all of them. And, let's see, there's three enemies. You get three HP back. So, that's pretty nice. Wow, I'm surprised I was able to get my voice that high pitched there. Now I know I'm in a good mood today. Yeah, the rest of them I can just pick up whenever. Sounds like a plan. Mostly there, just for the, uh attacking there, but easy enough. Uh, no, no, I think that's about all I can get now. Will do? What do you do up here all day anyway? I mean, is, 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 do you run a store here, or are you just... I don't know. I mean, she has a business here and all that, but I don't know about... I mean, he doesn't, like, take coins. Mer Merlot, I mean. 
But anyway, yeah, uh, with uh, the setup that I got, I, I listed it in the video description there. Really, mostly what I want is Quake Hammer for dealing with uh, uh, enemies on the ceiling or just large groups of enemies. I, I'm also uh, maxing out my attack power pretty much as much as I can with a dual power plus, uh, all or nothing. So basically what that means is when you, uh, yeah, basically if you time your attack right, you have one more attack power. If you don't, you're screwed. So, but timing your own attacks is relatively easy. So yeah, I don't have a problem with that at all. So basically, I've got plus three attack power there, which uh, stacks on the Quake Hammer. And I got Zap Tap mostly as a filler badge. You don't really need it, but it's there. Uh, let's see. I'm going to want to bring Watt out for this. Now, remember what we were being told to advance the plot? We got to go to Lava Lava Island. And, well, there's only one way to get to the island. Oh, hey, how's it going? Let me bring Cooper out, see if he has anything to say to you. I've seen you before. Well, I've only seen you in one place. Oh, well, okay, let's go. You got a boat? A ship or something? Well, you're a turtle. Couldn't you just swim? Hmm. Okay, I guess, uh... Cooper doesn't have anything to say to him. Never mind, then. Hey, what's this thing? Whoa! What is that thing? A big fish? Oh. It's not a tuma! I mean, tuna! I don't even know what I'm referencing. I mean, I know it's Schwarzenegger, but I, I don't know the movie or whatever. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh, okay. Is this going to be like Star Tropics? How many times am I going to go into a giant fish in my LPs? Is it going to be like Jabu Jabu's belly? Well, anyway, we got to go in there. Uh, yeah, I'll just start with what. But, uh-oh, I can't see! So you gotta use Watt's special power. That's just disgusting, game. But anyway, yeah, we got, uh, well, this guy hopping around. Remember, he was with the Fishmail, or whatever the fisherman's name was from earlier? Let's take him on! Okay, so... Uh, let's see. Well, let's just go with... Well, actually, you know what? Let's go with, uh, jump here. Ha! Easy enough. And... Now, you have to have... Uh, what? Out? Because otherwise you can't, uh, see where you're going. And you, you can't even tattle him. I've heard he doesn't even have a, uh, tattle entry in the game data or whatever. So, yeah. The only time I'm not going to be able to tattle someone, but... Alright! Easy enough. But yeah, the reason I used Quake Hammer when he's on the ceiling there, it... Well, allows me to actually damage him, because otherwise I don't know that there's anything else I can do. There's also some weird glitch or something where if he's like... I, I'm not exactly sure how it works. Like, if he's on the ceiling... But he has a status ailment and falls to the ground or something, and then you spin smash him. The game, like, freaks out or something or ridiculous like that. I've never done that, and, yeah, I don't really care about that sort of thing. So, oh well. Uh-oh. I'm gonna drown! And they died. Or we could just come out of its blowhole. That works, too. Wouldn't be the first one. What is he anyway? I mean, his name is Fuzzipede, but I mean, he's not, uh, he doesn't look like a fuzzy. I mean, I don't know, I guess kind of? He seems 
a little too tall for that, though. Usually, fuzzies are, like, a perfect square or whatever. Yeah, don't use him for bait anymore. What's up? Ha! <laughs> a whale. Okay, that works too. Can you take me to Bowser's castle? All right, sounds like a plan. What's up? What? Oh, yeah. We were kind of there. Sounds like a plan. What's up? Oh, how bad could it possibly be? Find out next time on Let's Play Paper Mario. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.